All right, welcome back. Welcome back. We are playing more games. To Kingdom Hearts. Fill my heart with everlasting hearts. Hearts, hearts, <laughs> hearts, hearts, hearts. What? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Show me your moves. All right. Oh, <clears throat> so something, something funny. Um, something, something dark time. My my buddy, uh, my buddy T Man. Uh, T-Man. Good old T-Man. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. Yep. He, um... Took me a moment, but I got there. He went back to working at the restaurant I used to work at. What? I not, that... not not because he needs the job. Yeah, it's I was a, like... As I'm, a second job. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he has a decent enough paying job. He has a job that pays, like... Pretty good Five dollars an hour more than probably what he'd be being there. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I was like... Why? 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 Yeah, I... <laughs> I sent him a... Because he... He sent it out on a Snapchat. Uh, I think Snapchat, I saw that, and I, just and I was replied, confused. <laughs> I just replied with, "No fucking way." <laughs> he's like, "He's like, yeah, I'm back here," and I'm like, "Why? Why?" <laughs> uh, you know, cash, blah blah blah, extra money, blah 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 blah. All right, back for the kid. Kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, "He's a dad," <laughs> and I'm just like, "Are they really that short staffed?" And he's like, "Kind of. You should come back and work here." And I was just like, "Yeah, I'll think about that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I die. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'll think about that. <laughs> they would have to pay me quite a bit to go back there. I thought they there. closed. They didn't close. I mean, they temporarily, temporarily. closed oh, okay. to do renovations. Oh, okay. But, I was, and they I changed they just the name closed, of closed. the... Uh, my thing is, they changed the name of the restaurant. Yeah, which I was like, me that. Why? Literally, the name, the restaurant, the street it's on is named after the restaurant, and they changed the name of the that, restaurant. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, you told me that a while back, and I was just like, why would they change the name of the street? Everybody yeah. knew it as that. And yeah. I talked to people at my work about that, you know, talk to customers, tell them about that. Yeah. And they go, yeah, I've, I've been there. And I'm like, I don't think it's called that anymore, so I don't know. It's not. Um, it's also bad, like... Marketing? Marketing, yeah, because once you change your name, then, like, everyone thinks it's, like, a new restaurant. But I guess on one hand, it, people think it's a new restaurant, so you might get more people to go there to be like, oh, let's try yeah, out the new restaurant, true. even though it's exactly the same. There's nothing different. The food is the same. The owners, the owners, are, owners the are the same. The restaurant, the recipes and all the food on the fucking menus are exactly the same. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, they just that's so. I mean, choice, in I'll one say hand, that. yeah, it's like on one hand, I guess you might trick people into coming back, coming back but <laughs> it's like it just seems kind of dumb, especially if because humans are stupid. So I'm like, no, they, so there's smart. people who are gonna go there and be like, I liked it better when it was the old restaurant, and they're gonna go there and eat the exact same food and be like, it's not as good as when it was blind restaurant, and even though it's exactly the same, because humans are dumb. <laughs> Talking about no, they're so smart. <laughs> So it just feels like bad branding. Chris, the best mechanic. The drop mechanic. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get ready to drop, my boy. Where were we last time? Tron, I think? Uh, I think with Riku? Back. Yeah, I think we're going back to Tron with Riku. I think? I mean, we'll know in 8 seconds, 7 se 6 seconds, 5 se 4 seconds, well, 3, five, three seconds, seconds, 2, two seconds, one. 1 second. Extra time to drop. <laughs> it doesn't even give me the extra time like it sometimes does. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy we're finally dream dropping that distance. I'm gonna slow down the drop gauge. I'm gonna get increased strength and get an affinity for spiders. Affinity, <laughs> and sure, I'll grab a potion while I'm at it. Then you enter Sora's neck. Yes, we were, we were a Riku. See, I knew we were in Tron. <clears throat> He's pretty much exactly one world behind Sora at, like, all times. Yeah, because I wasn't, uh... I didn't do things quick enough when I was playing Riku. I know. Because I was not sure how the drop mechanic was working. Drop right in the middle of a boss, it was hilarious. It was pretty funny, though, yes. It was really funny. Made me question about the same game, how, how you drop design mechanic. games. <laughs> yeah, it's made me really question the thought process behind the drop mechanic. But uh, yeah, so we went back to that old restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I just thought it was funny because it's just. Like, I, I thought he had said. I thought he had said to, both you and I, it, even to me, 
and I didn't even work there, yeah. that he would never be going back there. Yeah, the problem is, is his family owns it. Yeah. So he says that, and then his family is like, Ask him for it's like we really need help, blah, 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 and short-staffed and all this stuff, and could really use the help, and you'll be paid well for it, and then he goes, nah, all right. <laughs> Because he's doesn't too, know how to say no to his family. He's a, yeah, he's too good of a person. His family, though, the, may or may not have treated it not too great. The way I the way I always put it with Trevor is... With T-Man. With T-Man. Eh, whatever. I'm sure he doesn't actually care that I use his name, I'm going to be honest, but... Yeah, there's also <laughs> a bunch of Trevors. Yeah, there's also a ton of Trevors. Um, it's not even one Trevor at that restaurant. There's, like, fucking, like, six of them over the years. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, the... Um, uh, the thing is, is that... Shit, where was I going with that? Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, the, the way I put it, I'm like, the way I always put it to him is just like, you are a better person than I am. Like, he is way too nice to people who do not deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not even, yeah. Like, he's, he's friends with some people that have royally fucked him. Like, let's put it this way, me and him have had a couple neutral friends... And some of those neutral friends, I literally was just like, get the fuck out of my face. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. I don't want to see your fucking face around here again. And he still talks to them. And I'm just like, you're pretty a better sure, person I'm than I am. I'm pretty sure I know exactly one of them that we're talking about. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> and, uh... Even, and I've had passing acquaintances with this one, and he's uh, not that great. Yeah. I mean, I don't have, I mean, you know... If I if I see his face, you know, if I see him in person, I'll I'm be, not gonna I'm fight. Not gonna fight. <laughs> yeah, like I'll be nice to him and shit. I'm not gonna like go out of my way to be a dick. But fucking like, let's just say he he pulled a lot of shit, and I was just like, I don't fucking give a shit who you think you are. I don't deal with that shit. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and to be fair, he's fucked over Trevor way harder than he's ever fucked me over and Trevor is still like nice to him and I'm like dude I would have fucking burned that bridge in fact I did burn that bridge years ago <laughs> yeah no, like, I, I like, agree I set that bridge on fire and then dug up the post so they couldn't just fucking put a new bridge up <laughs> like I took up the post and threw them over the cliffside <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's, he's not wrong. He, he has done that. <laughs> he has done that. I just, I don't deal with garbage people. Fuck me over enough times and you're just done. Like, yeah. I'm not, you don't get second chances yeah, at that it's, point. Yeah, it's just like, one of those things is just like, some people, you know, they've royally fucked you over and it's just like, why would you think I want to continue talking to you? Yeah. It's just, there's a level, man. It's like, there's a level, man, and I just, uh, I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> it's like, but Trevor has a problem where he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm not dealing with that person, and then, like... Three days later, he's then, talking to him again. You know, a couple months go by, and then he's, you know, still he's talking He's like, why him. did I, why was I mad at them? I'm just like, you're still talking, dude, I was talking to him, like, you still talking to him? He's like, yeah, I feel bad for him, I'm like, you're a better person than me, then, because I don't give two shits. From what I understand, <laughs> that person that we're talking about um, has alienated a lot of their friends in the town they live in. I mean, I'm not surprised, considering the fact that they alienated me. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, Chris, you're not you're a hard person to alienate. Yeah. You know, you make you make a friend with somebody, and they're just and Chris is just like, I'm with them for a while until they fuck me over. <laughs> yeah, I'm still. I mean, I'm friends with people that I haven't talked to in years. When I like run back into them, you know, haphazardly at like a store or something, I'm like, yo, fucking, I'm, I'm friends with people. Pretty much until they royally fuck me. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and you have to really fuck me. <laughs> and not in a fun way. Yeah, not in a good way. <laughs> I'm, a very, it's a, I'm a very chill person. I get along with people very well. So you uh, really have to try. <laughs> I mean, I had the... Uh, they had the audacity. See, my, my thing is, is like, uh, my problem with that guy is he's 100% the, and I'm sure you've been, I'm sure you know people like this. I'm sure everyone watching this knows at least one fucking person like this. And it's, they're the kind of person who's, like, your best friend until they find someone who's more valuable to them and then they never talk to you again. Yep. 
Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking He's about. that kind of person. Which is why when he came crawling back, I was just like, piss off. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> you ain't worth my time. Yeah. And I'm not the person who gets a... <laughs> no big doofy bear. <laughs> and I'm not the kind of person that gets butt hurt because uh, people go hang out with other people. Mainly because like... I don't want to hang out. Anyways, I'm pretty fucking sedentary yeah, the kind only of person. Reason we're, <laughs> the only reason we and Chris are hanging out right now and recording is because we're recording. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Fucking. <laughs> which is, which, we're both making a joke about it, but also there's slight mm. truths to that. Well, me and Derek are sedentary people. If we could live entirely in our houses without leaving our houses, I bet you would. Yeah. I bet I would. <laughs> my, uh, my buddy from college has become that person. And I'm like, dude, I understand. There was um, this is a joke that I always make that I think Derek would agree with, which is the, uh, which is the, if I could, if I could pick any place in the world to live, I could just go and live wherever I wanted, it would be up in the mountains, hundreds of miles away from all other humans. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong. Deep in the mountains, far away from other humans. <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> And uh, it was funny, and another, a friend of mine from college was just talking, um, recently we were all hanging out, and he was just like, he's like, yeah, you know, I hang out with all the people from my college, I stay in contact with them all pretty well, except for Chris. Chris just kind of vanishes for long periods of time. <laughs> You're not wrong. And I'm just like, yeah, no, that is correct. <laughs> He's like, everyone's fairly easy, you know, you just call them up and you're just like, hey, you want to come over to this thing? Chris is the only one you call him up and he's like, eh... Uh, that's kind of far. <laughs> that's a long, that's gonna be a long drive. <laughs> it's, it's so true. Uh, because I'm not afraid to. I, I know a lot of people are like, I don't know. If, if afraid is probably not the right word, but a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to say no to this person. So yeah. Come up with like some excuse or some shit, and like, you no know, people call me up and be like, you want to hang out today? And I'll be like, nope. I am busy. <laughs> like, I got shit to do. <laughs> my my friend, right, she's in the city, and I'm like, do you want to come out and hang out with us? You know, we got a new place and all that, and she's just like, no. I'm just like, <laughs> gonna give me a, a decent, a good enough excuse? Nope. No, I just don't want to go out of the city. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, we get along really well, me and her. <laughs> I don't think you could stand yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I don't know, Chris. You gonna go listen to T Swift with her? I don't know, man. Well, no. But <laughs> it's yeah, no. But no. I play, I do have a. Is she the one that's not straightforward normally, though? Yes. Is she the one that's like, oh yeah, we'll hang out, and then she's like, and then it just flaky. fails. Yes. Yeah. yeah so those people drive me nuts. I understand. See, I'd much rather person be like, yeah, no, I don't want to go do that, because then I can be like, all right, cool cross off list, let's go see if this person wants to go now, instead of people being like, oh yeah, totally, and then like two days later they're like, yeah, I'm not going, and it's like, motherfucker, I could have replaced you with anyone then. Then when you're in the <laughs> city and you're like, oh, we could have made, I could have made plans to do something else, yeah. and then they're like, no, I'm, I don't want to do that right now, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah, it's like, I'd much rather people just be like, no. It's the same thing with, uh, when you ask women out, so just tell them no. Now they can be like, all right, checked off the list. Next girl. <laughs> the next person, I'll, I'll try it with nobody else. <laughs> next girl. In all fairness, that's partially men's fault, too. Because and men are, are super good at being butthurt about that. Yes. And, which amazes me to no end. <laughs> yeah. Like, I literally, that, that shit drives me, because I've, I've seen it so many times in person that I'm always just like, Jesus Christ, men are sad <laughs> creatures. <laughs> like, the amount of times where they're like, hey, you want to go in there? Like, no, and they're like, fine, whatever, you're a fucking bitch anyways. And I'm just like, wow, that escalated quickly. You're not even that pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> you're not even that pretty. Well, are you just saying that because she's not actually pretty, or because you're a giant butthole? Well, then why'd you ask her out then? <laughs> Man, I had, dude, I had one where it was just like, go out and they were like, no, and I was like, alright, cool. And I just walked away. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult. <laughs> it's, the answer, it's just shoot your shot, and if it doesn't work out, 
there's like a million of them. I'm sure one of them eventually will give up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, one of them is gonna have low Just enough standards. <laughs> one of them is gonna have low enough standards to be like, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> no, Chris. They don't settle. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> it's, no, Derek, they don't settle until they're like 40 or have a kid. Then they settle for anything. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Ironically, men are the ones that don't settle. They'll just wait forever. <laughs> That's not true. Everyone settles uh, eventually. Because everyone eventually hits the point where they're just like, fuck, I'm old. <laughs> yeah. I'm running out of options, and then they just give up. <laughs> Yeah, this, there was stuff happening. I have obtained the disc. Uh, the master ring, or whatever it was. I'm pretty sure it's a frisbee. Mm-hmm. Oh. Tron, that's domestic abuse. <laughs> I feel like Sora is cheating. You like, everyone has throwy... Oh, yeah, I feel like Riku is cheating. Like, everyone has throwy ring shits, and this dude's got a sword, essentially, in this universe. Also, do you like how, like, nothing was said in Riku, it just equipped himself and just started attacking the dude? Well, he threw a woman to the floor. Oh, yeah. He has to defend her. Does this mean Dad's gonna get back his golden disc? Good question, actually. I don't remember. Sorry, Riku, we forgot that there was only three seats in this only before we seats. left. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna turn white? Yep. Hell yeah, the good trons are always white. I was also like, it's red, but as soon as they sit in it, it's gonna change to white. It's right. It's the power of their colored lights. Is this the portal? I don't think so. It looks like a portal. It looks gonna be deceiving in the you digital world. You are correct. World. Digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. Change into digital chop cuts. <laughs> Change into digital jump cuts to change the, the video. Oh! <laughs> Digimon. Are we losing our minds? Digimon. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Dude, we gotta play uh, uh, Digimon Rumble Arena at some point. Yes. Have we not played on the show yet? We tried to, but they oh, the capture didn't work. Yeah, right? we couldn't record PlayStation One with the cables we had. Has that changed? Um, yes and no. Ah. The answer is we could record it, but it would be at a lower quality. Or we could play it on the PS3, but I don't think I have anything unlocked on the PS3 version because uh, okay. I don't think I've ever played it on the PS3 version <laughs> before. So I wouldn't have the save that as like everything unlocked. Anyways, moral of the story is... We'll play it at some point. I, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> PlayStation 1 games are on my list of games that I want to play at some point. <laughs> Just haven't quite got there yet. <laughs> now the blasters are on our side. Yeah! I <laughs> said... So... Um, because it will, actually, it might, it might be just starting to be out by this point. I did, I did a recording with non-Derek. Yes. I was I, dead for a couple of days. Yeah, Derek had died, and it was very sad. And then we got over it, and I resurrected him from the grave. Um, but. Like you uh, do. I did make a joke with, uh with my sister, that I was just like, yo, we should play fucking Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's super quick. <laughs> oh. But it's it's extra funny for uh, people who know, which I don't even think Derek knows this, I don't know if I've told you this, my sister is the only person I know who managed to softlock herself in the game three separate times. Huh? And had to start over again because she was softlocked. How? <laughs> because the game is brutal. If you save at the wrong point, oh, yeah. you're just dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Because you, you when you die, you go back from your last save point. 
So she literally soft locked herself. I think twice. I think, like, I think it was save twice. save or something? Yes. Well, we all had only one save because there was multiple people playing it. You can have multiple saves per character. Yes, but we only had one save because we don't play RPGs like you, Derek. We play action games. Oh, yeah. So we weren't used to the concept of saving like a million fucking times. That's true. That's oh, okay. true. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about it like that. Like, Derek plays. Because I, I Derek's that up. played enough RPGs, he knows to have multiple saves yeah, as a backup. Because I brought that up because Derek's like, uh, I think it was mm, Oblivion. Yes. You were like, you were like, yeah, here's Oblivion. I'm like, dude, why do you have so many saves? He's like, you should always have this many saves. And I was like, weird. You should have had, <laughs> with, with RPGs, you should have at least, um, I want to say, three or four backups. That's why I'll double save on these games. Yeah, I won't even do that. Yeah. I literally will save once, even in RPGs. I just assume that I'm good enough to get through it on one save. It's it's the reason I, I do it back, I do multiples, is because I know how these games work, and most of RPGs are filled with at least some sort of bugs. Hey, in all fairness, Mario only had one save, and he never got stuck. And I only had one save, and I never got stuck. So just blame your sister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I just think she's bad at the game. <laughs> yeah, that probably. That's probably true. She's also like three years younger than me, so you know. And back when that game came she out, had, she had single-digit age brain power to figure out how to beat that game. <laughs> well, I had double-digit brain power to figure out how to beat that game, and also the ability to watch her and Mario play it. And when they made mistakes, I would then choose the easier talky route. <laughs> To get out of doing it completely. <laughs> yeah. Like I am like I was the person because him and her both had to like fight their way out of the the evil people. Yeah. And instead of doing that, I literally watched they, they told me her evil plan, and then I just walked up to the headmaster and was like, Yeah, so and so's gonna betray you. So then he kills her, congratulates me for helping him, and then just lets me leave. Yeah. And I'm just like, you people are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I do love that. <laughs> it is very funny. This is a giant mantis. Yes! It's the weirdest shit. <laughs> I guess you do have to beat the bugs, so it makes sense. Oh, because it's a big bug! Yes, it's, 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 it's the computers, and they got bugs. It... Yeah. Is, he, is he dead yet? <laughs> Almost. Good, we're gonna need to crack this code. Quick, we gotta hack like we're in the 80s. <laughs> Just slam your hand on the keyboard. <laughs> Hit buttons really fast and people think you're hacking. <laughs> I'm hacking, guys. Shh. Digimon. We are in a digital world. Can we get their, uh... Can we, like, capture them and use them as, uh, digital monsters? I created the perfect system! The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. It's impossible. But it's also right in front of us all the time. That statement makes no fucking sense. <laughs> it makes no sense, but I also find it strangely encouraging. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. I should have been Give a me a hug. I should Stabs have, him. I should have been a better father. Okay, <laughs> fucking this is Sparta. Give that to my dad. Clue is weirdly strong. He's, he's a computer program. It's okay. Uh, I stole his disc. <laughs> It's like he did it, he ruptured one of my spines. The Hello. fuck is that? That wasn't in Tron before. <laughs> 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 
It's not even a disc. The fact that that bridge, like, goes back, but people don't actually stick to the bridge concerns oh. me. No. Why? He's my son. Dare. He's my son. Go! <laughs> He's at the thing. Sam, it's time. Time for what? You never elaborated. <laughs> it's what he wants. I'm not leaving you. Take her. My gift to you, <laughs> this woman. <laughs> This movie was super weird. I think they did it like this to set it up for a sequel, but like that shit was never coming. No. Goodbye, kiddo. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Why didn't he use this in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, he had the power to, like, control the system enough to stop him from being able to move, and he just never uses it the whole movie. Because he's the ultimate Okay. He merged with him, and then became a nuke. What a great movie. <laughs> I'm confuzzled, but okay. Yeah. Hold on, let's pause it here. Because like, I don't know how much longer this cutscene is going to go for. Four right. hours? Yeah, let's pick this up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.